It's your number nine here at Providence College for Ed Cooling. We're previewing the 2019-20 season. Ed, first off, when you think about your journey here, where this program stands, when you came in to this program, how much did you think what's behind us here was a possibility in Friar Town? Well, it, you know, uh, the possibility was there. Uh, you know, Bob Driscoll, our athletic director, Brian Shanley, our president, we always had the conversation of possibility, and this was one of the possibilities. And you know, we're now living that dream. Um, you know, uh, this is just right today. What's the next possible dream? What's the next possibility? So you know, you're always moving forward. But where we stand today, I'm very uh, excited about where we're at. I'm very excited about where our program is at, uh, and we're very excited about the upcoming Big East season. Let's look at this team, and you're led by senior and all Big East preseason first team selection in Alpha Diallo. What have you seen in him throughout his career? Alpha has really grown. Uh, he's grown in many ways, off the court, on the court. Alpha will graduate. Alpha has, Alpha has versatility, probably much greater than anyone in the league. I think he can play five positions. I think he can dominate the game defensively as well as offensively. You know, we need to make sure that we have enough team success for him to be mentioned as a player of the year mm -hmm. candidate. Because at the end of the day, he's going to be right there. We have some great players in our league, led by Miles Powell, you know, uh, Marcus Howard. You know, I think LeBlanc from Georgetown is really, mm -hmm. really good. Um, you know, Mustafa Heron from St. John's, very, very good. Uh, you have Najee Marshall. There's so many really, really good players in our league. Um, but I think Alpha's right up there. When you talk about the Big East, Alpha's name will be thrown in there with the top players. When you talk about that team success, how it can breed individual success, what are the things that need to happen on the court for this team to flip the script this season? Well, the first thing we've got to be able to do is put the ball in the basket. We really struggled to score last year. We struggled to shoot from downtown consistent enough to you know, open up the interior for Nate and Alpha and uh, our other interior guys to work. Um, we got to score the ball, we got to limit our turnovers, and we got to become a little bit better defensively. You know, um, we got to take advantage of the numbers game, we call it. Anytime we have an advantage, numbers wise, offensively, we got to make the opposing team pay for that. Three Big East teams are in the top 20. You're one of four, additionally, just outside of the AP top 25. So that means seven of the 10 teams in this league are receiving votes. How do you navigate your way through this league? That's going to be the fun part about this this year. Last year, we were very young. This year, the league returns a lot of starters, some newcomers that'll help. So night in and night out in the Big East, it's going to be tough. Hey, Big East Hoops followers, thanks for watching. Tune in to Big East Shootaround every Thursday at 3 Eastern, 2 Central on at Big East on Twitter.